Okay, I got this Asus, Asus laptop, model F515K. And when I turned it on, all looks fine and dandy. Okay, but when I hit a hand it sort of twitches back and won't let me get into the login screen. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to get into the BIOS and reinstall Windows. Now the BIOS key is F2. So we we'll just uh, shut this down. Okay, so when we turn it on and hit F2, enter password. Okay, enter password. We haven't got the password. We can't get into it. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to locate the BIOS IC and we're going to re remove it off the board and we're going to read the bin file and we're going to edit that bin file, okay? So uh, back shortly and then we'll pull off the BIOS chip. Okay, so I've got this H uh, ASUS laptop. It's an F. 515k and the problem I have is I couldn't uh, reinstall Windows, I couldn't boot from the uh, BIOS because the BIOS had a password lock. Um, I've tried the all usual methods to try and buy, get around it but just couldn't get around it. So what I ended up doing was uh, removing the, uh, the BIOS chip off the board. Now I have pulled the BIOS chip off, off the board for a reason and I'll just show you that, show you that, I'll just zoom back out and I'll show you why, only be a sec. Okay, so I've got one of these cheap programmers online, it's a CH341A. Uh, I have done a bit of a modification to it because there is a, a bit of a design fault with these. Um, it has got a 3 volt regulator here, but this chip was running on a 5 volt rail and for the data, which is quite okay, but for the data lines here, they're running up at five. Now that's probably a little bit high, so that's why they do a bit of a modification, bring them back to down the 3.5. So I've done the modification to that uh, device. Now you do come with a clip, this little clip, clip here. So you basically pin one is on that side there, and we're doing this side chip here, which is the 25 series. Okay, and so it comes like that, and this little clip that you clip onto the motherboard, you clip this on. But I wasn't real successful um, with this clip. I was able to read the data once, and then from then on I just had too much trouble trying to get it to contact, okay? So um, what I ended up doing was taking the EEPROM off and soldering it on. I've got those four legs there soldered onto there, so pin one, two, three, four. Okay, that's pin one, two, three, four. And then I sold four wires onto the uh, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so therefore I was able to then take my clip off. And so we've got pin one, that's pin one, pin one, which is there. So Uh, I was able to then put it into that programmer like so. Okay. Because I didn't sold it directly onto here because the chip was too big. The legs were hanging out the end. All right. So that's for a smaller chip. So I just soldered the four legs and then four wires. That saved me soldering um, eight wires. Okay. Okay. Next part is where we're going to read the data. Okay. Got no background music today. I've been um, criticised for my music being too loud. So, sorry it's a little bit dark. A little bit dark there, but. Okay, still reading, 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 reading. Reading, reading, reading. And it does show you the configuration here of the clip and tells you where pin one is, okay, in the programmer. 
Alright. This is all hex files, hexadecimal data. Okay. Um, a lot of people use a hex editor to edit a lot of this data here. I'm not that advanced on the hex editing, so um, little programmer comes with these all the, all these adapters, all these adapters, so you can um, run 1.8 volt chip. <coughs> Nearly there. So once I read the data, what am I going to do with it? Because it's got a password in for the for the BIOS, okay? It's in there somewhere. I just don't know where that is because I'm not that not up to scratch with hex hex, hex coding and registry and where that, you need a bit of experience to know what you're doing. So what I ended up doing, I sent the BIOS bin. So once I saved, all right. Uh, hang on, abort. Oh shit! Back again. Sorry. Open that up again. I don't know what's going on there. Um, Okay, once I read that data, which I just showed you before, uh, I'm just going to open this file. I'm going to open the file, which is a uh, ISO, ASUS bin, open. So that's, that's a file that I read, okay. Now what I did, I saved that as a bin file. So file, save. So here's a hex bin file as an ASUS bin. Okay, I saved it to the desktop. Then what I did, I emailed that bin file to a fella in Taiwan, and he then edited the th uh, firmware, no, not the firmware, the, the code, and um, the hex file, he edited it and removed the password lock for me and sent me the, sent me the bin file back. And that bin file, I got that back half an hour later okay after I, after I sent the email so it's pretty quick so what I'm going to do now I'm now going to write to this chip okay so I'm going to open my file which is an unlock bin file and there it is there unlocked and that's loaded up see ASUS unlock bin down here and now what I'm going to do I'm going to then Write program the IC, okay? And then I can verify it. So we better, first we have to detect a chip. Which we have, there you go. The eight ASUS bin unlocked. And now I'm going to write program. Yes. So that is now programming my BIOS chip with the new bin file unlocked, okay? This will take a while to uh, shoot through. And with a bit of luck, it's going to work. So back in a minute, as soon as that's gone through. It takes a while. All we're going to do is solder it back onto the motherboard after it's programmed, and hopefully, we'll be able to get into the BIOS. Luckily, finally. Let's see how we go. Uh, the programmer, you can uh, 
get that on eBay uh, and the software you can just download that online that's freeware so Wind bond manufacturer wind bond 128 megabits right. W25Q128BV um, Still going through You can probably fast forward a bit if you wanted to I'll probably uh, cut some of this out Come on. It's low. Oh man, get me shoulder and I'm warmed up. I didn't have to use micro solder or anything like that to get the chip off, it was pretty straightforward. Um, just low melt alloy solder and um, just pull the chip straight off the board pretty pretty easy once you've got that spin file saved that unlock bin for that model uh, you can you can store it in your uh, store it on your computer and then you can uh, use it on other laptops you know of the same series so I tried to download a bin file already unlocked but just couldn't find one for this model so that's why I sent it away it costs about 20 20 20 US dollars something like that about $30 Australian so that's going through now nearly finished yep all done that's success it says success here programming main memory success okay you could verify it if you want but I think it'd be no problem so I'm just going to shut this PC down and then I'm going to throw this chip back onto the motherboard and I'll be back shortly to see if it's going to work. Back shortly. Alrighty, yeah, so we're back with this motherboard here. Now, obviously, you, you I see, I. I I knew which way that would ramp the orientation of pin one. Pin one's got this little tiny little dot on it. Okay. Okay, like so. Just going to make sure it's uh, all okay. I'm just going to check with the This light's playing up. This light's okay. Just gonna quickly look through the microscope. Make sure. Yep, she's all good. Alrighty, yeah. Now we're gonna give it a quick test. Yeah, last time I hit F2 to get into the BIOS. Of 
Got that the right way around. Pin one, yeah, yeah, da, da, da. Power. Okay, so back with this Asus laptop. So we're just going to try and kick into the advice menu, it's F2. Bang! Um, we've got administrator password not installed and user password not installed. Okay. So I was able to get into that. So yeah. Administrator password not installed, user not installed. So we're into the BIOS, okay? So now now I can reinstall Windows and fix the initial problem that we had with the laptop. Okay, so uh, back shortly. Okay, uh, so thanks for watching and um, please don't forget to subscribe. Um, this one took a little bit of an effort. Um, I had to do it twice, so um, I had to send the bin folder to Taiwan and um, he hacked into the uh, hex file for me and probably using hex editor or something like that but you've got to know what you're doing a little bit to muck around with that so it wasn't worth it. I think it cost me 20 US dollars, so it's about 30 dollars Australian and he uh, was able to remove that password for me. Now I'll be able to go in and reinstall Windows because I couldn't boot from USB, couldn't get into the BIOS before because of the password. And um, so what you can do, you can store that bin file on, on, on in, in your library and you can build up a whole big bank of bin files. So they are handy to have, in, have, have um, as a tool. So you'd have to have a very, pretty much the same model laptop because there is variations in those bin files. But um, basically you just got to make sure that uh, your programmer, I've done the modification to the programmer, uh, make sure that you know what chip you're going to flash what voltage it is, because some chips are 1.8 volt, some are 3.3. Um, so that's about all. Um, hopefully I'll be back with something a bit more um, high tech for you. So, and um, yeah, please subscribe and have a great day. Thank you.